got no grand arson. I pull up with dogs and they bite and I bark. I am the king and I'm serving all white like a motherfucking parch. Oh, shit. We have a problem, guys. We have a problem. Tom McDonald came out with this song a day ago. NF came out with his mixtape. Bro, we got shit. We got work to fucking do. We got work to do, bro. I'm a little late. I'm a little late, but fuck it, yo. Fuck it. Everybody's ahead of me, bro. I, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking tired. I be tired, bro. There's a lot of songs, a lot of music. I'm tired. But there's no excuses. No excuses. So you know what? You know what? We got to get this shit popping. We got to start working, start grinding. And I just want to say I'm sorry. But I'm back. I'm here. I'm here for y'all. I'm here for y'all. What is good, my friends? What is good, my family? What is good, my people? What is good, my everything? It's your boy, P. D. P. Foodie the Plastic. And just like that, we back. We plays no games. No games played. Come on, man. You see the title? We got Tom McDonald Church featuring Brandon Hart and Nova Rockefeller. Come on, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. You know, they all best friends. I just learned from uh, from one of my subs that Brandon Hart is Tom McDonald's best friend. And of course, you know, Nova, the queen of all queens. Come on, man. We about to get this shit popping. It's called Church. I don't know what I'm jumping into. You know, Tom McDonald, he be mad random with it, but everything he come out has been trending, has been trending. He's been on his grind, you know, so you got to respect the man. He's independent doing his thing. Anyway, before we get this shit popping, you already know what I want you to do. And what I want you to do is serious. It's serious for me and it's serious for the Pooty gang, Pooty nation, Pooty every tang. please for me for me hit that clicky hit that subscribe button hit the like hit the bell hit the every time every time because i'm here for you you here for me and we all here for together you dig because i dog let's go tommy donald church brandon hart nova rockefeller oh man we're about to get this shit popping no Times wasted. Let's go, church. I need a short drink or a oh. long prayer. I've been sober, but I don't care. Mm. I'm so scared of my own self. I get no help, and that's no fair. So mm. Okay, hold on. Let's stop. Yeah, he's you know how he is, man. He come out fast. So, you know, I got to do a little rewind here. Let's slow it down a bit. Tom McDonald. Let's catch our breath. Here we go. I need a short drink or a long prayer I've been sober but I don't care I'm so scared of my own self I get no help and that's no fair So don't go there, I've been hell and back I got scorched mm. hair in this Gucci cap I got empty bottles and a million follows I regret swallowing the Ativan Mmm I got empty bottles and a million follows I regret swallowing that Ativan Ativan, I heard of Ativan Where I heard it from, my friend One of my friends, he was suffering, you know, from like anxiety and depression that's that's an anxiety pill that that um that 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 fights anxiety out of van and honestly right here what i'm getting from this song so far is that he said he missed he, he, he misses his old self like i feel like he misses his old self sometimes he misses the drink he misses the bottle but i got a million follows this is crazy i see where this is going though like i feel like he's missing his old self Hair in this Gucci cap. I got empty bottles and a million follows. I regret swallowing the Ativan. <laughs> Let's be real. I resent the way that I feel. Mm. I pretend that it's cool, but I miss getting drunk and I'm angry that God doesn't help when I kneel. You see? I pretend that it's cool, but I miss getting drunk. See what I'm saying? Like, he miss getting drunk. He misses that bottle. Sometimes that bottle ain't worth it, don't Tom. For real. Don't don't even think about picking up that bottle. If you know you can't control yourself once you do. 
the way that I feel. I pretend that it's cool, but I miss getting drunk and I'm angry that God doesn't help when I kneel. I said my prayers when I got clean, it just got worse. I quit doing drugs and I pleaded with Jesus to save me, but he didn't hear my words. Mm. Don't work, it hurts. I went to church, now I need liquid courage. Whiskey in my glass, I take the knives out of my back. He said, I went to church and I need that liquid courage. Whiskey in my glass. I quit doing drugs, pleaded with Jesus to save me. I'm not really big on touching like the whole religious, the religious topic. You know what I mean? But I do believe that there is something and there is something for a lot of people to believe in. You know what I mean? Like these people believe in something to save their lives. And, you know, and, it, and it's a good thing. If you believe in something that's just going to save your life, bro, go for it. Go for it. You know, all powers to you because you need it. You need it to save your life. Life is one, man. You don't want to really harm yourself doing something that's very addicting, you know? So if you find something that helps you, you know what I mean? Go for it. I went to church. Now I need liquid courage. Whiskey in my glass. I take the knives out of my back to stir it. Go to hell and back again. Then show you burns to prove I earned it. Mm. I need shots of God to gain the strength I need. I'm just a person. I pray on wow. my way. Wow. I need, I'm just a person. I pray on my way to the liquor store that they lock the door. Cause I'll lay in my grave. Get the whiskey bars like it did before. I'm scared. I send out a prayer. Can anybody hear me? Is anybody there? Cause honestly, it hurts. And every day's worse. I keep buying whiskey when all I need is church. Mm. I keep buying whiskey when all I need is church. Tom, I'm a person who buys a lot of whiskey. I do buy a lot of whiskey, but I'm also a person that knows how to control himself. You know, when I when I feel that that buzz, I stop. You know what I mean? Or when I feel like, OK, it's enough. Like I stop myself. You know, a person who's like an alcoholic. They don't know how to control themselves, so they keep drinking to the point where where the night before becomes blank. You understand? Like, they become blank. They, yo, the memory is just gone. Like, what the fuck happened type shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's tough. It's tough. But me, I'm a person that can really control myself when I'm drinking. You know, and I hope a lot of people, you know, you guys, I hope a lot of you guys control yourselves. When you're drinking, because it's very important, you know? Days worse, I keep buying whiskey when all I need is church. I keep talking to God. Brandon Hart, let's go. When all I need is church. I keep talking to God, but he don't hear me. Mm. And my demons are there, always listening. I get lost in the dark, drowning in whiskey. Ooh. And I went in so far, you say you... He said, I get lost in the dark, drowning in whiskey. Keep talking to God, but he don't hear me. A lot of people suffer, bro, from alcoholism. You know what I mean? Like, if drinking is the first thing you think about, you know, you, you definitely need to seek help. You definitely need to seek help because it's not good for you, man. And, 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 and alcohol really changes your mood in various ways. You know, you can, you, you, you have this anxiety, you have this stress, you have this guilt, even guilt, you know, even, even this feeling of loneliness, you know? So like that feeling of being alone also takes effect on alcoholism, you know? So please guys definitely control the amount of alcohol you, you, you drink, you know, if you feel like you need to stop at a certain point. Yo, just stop, you know, because you don't want <laughs> last night to be something you regret doing for the rest of your life. Because that should be happening to people just because of excessive alcohol, sex excessive drinking, you know, crazy. I was in the dark, drowning in whiskey, and I went in so far, you say you miss me. Mm. I'm on a ship in a bottle, so say goodbye at the shore, break the glass and you'll find me, I'm not. I was before close my eyes in the darkness and hold on through the storm i'm a wreck in a bottle i wasn't built for a war mm. church pews 
bright lights, whiskey glasses, bottles of booze, mm. make short days, turn long nights, the bottle, the Bible, I didn't know what to choose. Mm. The bottle, the Bible, I didn't know what to choose. Funny. It's funny because I'm going to always go back to one of my favorite. Well, not one of my favorite. My favorite artist of all time is Brian Head Welch from Korn, the guitar player from Korn. He he was drinking his life away, bro. He was drinking his life away. He used he, he used every possible drug you could think of. Every possible drug, you know, then got saved by this by this light. By this light, you know what I mean? And, and and he thought about his daughter, Janaea. Janaea, beautiful daughter of his. You know, he thought about his daughter and he kicked alcohol. He kicked drugs, found God. You know what I mean? And, and picked up the Bible. He picked up the Bible. He learned the Bible. You know what I mean? And, and it saved his life. You know, so he found something to actually save his life. And he it turned his life around completely. And honestly, I thank God for that because he's an amazing person. He's he's just, just an amazing person. You know what I mean? And, and if you haven't checked out his documentary, um, Loud Crazy Love, Loud Crazy Love, please do, bro. Please do, especially if you're that person that's that's like, you know, uh, um, an al an alcoholic or like somebody that's been struggling with drugs with drug abuse and stuff like that please see that documentary because it's it, it's very deep you know what i mean take your time and watch that man to long nights the bottle the bible i didn't know what to choose i pray on my way to the liquor store that they lock the door Yo, I love the chorus, Tom, man. This chorus fits you so well. Like, this is a dope-ass chorus, the way you're singing. And I hear Nova in the back. It's pretty dope. And I'm on my knees. Tell me, God, are you listening? The scary shit about alcoholism is that it changes your 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 behavior. It changes your behavior. You know what I mean? It changes your behavior, and, and um, and and some people become either aggressive. You know what I mean? They become aggressive. Some people also have this self self destructive behavior. Where where they where where they're harming themselves, either it's emotionally or physically, you know. So like, like for example, attempting suicide. Attempting suicide is definitely a self-destructive, you know, behavior, in harming yourself, you know. And, and and it's crazy, man. Like you you guys definitely have to control your drinking, you know. You want to live to see another day. You want to live, you know, f to see tomorrow. You got people who love you, for real. My knees tell me, God, are you listening? Because I'll lay in my grave, the whiskey pours like it did before basically saying like if i drank the way i did before i would lay in my grave like i would kill myself if he wouldn't even be alive if he been drinking the way he did before 
That's crazy. I love it, man. Wow, man. That's a real dope song, Tom. For real. That song... That song honestly can touch a lot of people. That song can touch a lot of people who are... Who are alcoholics. Who are alcoholics and drug drug abusers you know what i mean so thank you for sharing that song man that song is really deep you know it's a dope song i really felt it i really felt it tom thank you for that you know and i really hope a lot of people out there get to get to hear this song who's under a lot of uh stress and anxiety and who 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 use alcohol you know for their for their for everything you know what i mean who use alcohol to 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 like numb themselves numb their pain you know away or or even drugs you know i hope a lot of people listen to this song anyway tom you did it again amazing fucking song amazing fucking song i loved it nova brandon hart bro the trio trio i like this i like this you know Hangover Gang is huge, bro. Hangover Gang is huge. You know, we all here to support you, man, for real. Anyway, bro, we on the road to 2000. We on the road to 2000, bro. We on the road to 2000, bro. You know what I mean? So please, for me, hit the clicky, subscribe, like, bell, everything. Pootie Gang is on the rise. You know, we here for together. We here for together. NF. Bro, I gotta do a rea NF reaction because his his mixtape just came out, bro. Mixtape just came out. I'm pretty sure that shit is popping from top to bottom. So yo, we gotta get we gotta get that shit popping. Anyway, I'm out of here, you know. And uh, I really hope you know you guys listen to the song. I'm honestly, man, I'm gonna listen to the song again because it's very like inspiring, man. You know, it's a, it's a very inspirational song. I can't, I loved it, man. Good shit, Tom. Anyway, I'm out of here, bro. I love y'all. Y'all already know. Pootie game, baby. Let's go. Peace out. I know Grand Arson, I pull up with dolls and they biting I bark. I am the king and I'm serving all white like a motherfucking parch. Bitch, you better not leave out the house with nothing. You know that I bought. Even though that I'm not bullying with Drake, bitch, you know that I started it. Loving this